Kuslana Muyana we. Kuslana Muyana we. Heritage University Language Center, also called Hulk, was started in the summer of 2014. The mission of the center is to help revitalize, preserve, and promote endangered languages. In this area, uh, Ichishkin is spoken by the Yakima people, also called Sahaptin language. And right now, we are focusing our efforts towards revitalizing Ichishkin in the community. Inknash Winniksha Tualatin. Kushiapu Tumtki Gregory Sutterlich, Washnash Yakima Kunik, Kusha Halis Kunik, Kukut Nakash Heritage University Pa. So my name is Greg Sutterlich, Tualatin. I'm the director of Heritage University Language Center. I'm a linguist, but I'm also the, the teacher who's out there in the classes. I like to call myself the middleman. If there's linguistic information that might help students, then I find ways to make it more friendly. The I or the ah instead of the a, uh, but that's not always the case. So you have your short vowels, your long vowels, and your barred I. A book on a one potak, sapakostikawasnan. A cotton, cot pamapa. A cotton. Alchimashwa. Aikun kakawaspa. We have an uh, Ichishkin focused two and three year old classroom at the Heritage University Early Learning Center where we have seven kids and there's another teacher and myself. And so we have uh, a male elder and a female elder that come in when they're able to and they help us in the classroom. So we speak in the language as much as possible and we also sing our food songs or wash up songs before we eat any meal. We look to go up we hike. I also do a Heritage University classes 101, 102 and what it does is it allows community members to take the class and learn their language without paying tuition. They can come on their lunchtime for an hour and then they get educational leave for an additional hour so they can stay for the whole class. Also doing the Zilla After School Language and Culture Focused Club. We do lots of language and um, we also sing songs there and talk about Washa and Longhouse and all different types of stuff. about education class is that a lot of the things are kind of competitions to help us learn like we'll use like game guards to learn how to use count our numbers and stuff and we'll try to see who can name the most body parts on an animal. My first day of education class was kind of awkward because all the kids were so experienced but I wasn't so I didn't know any of the words but I got better over the year. The Zilla After School Language and Culture Club I'm very proud of. I pre-assessed every kid before we even started class. How much do they know? My kids knew some, other kids knew zero. Some knew one or two, the majority of people knew a handful of words. Now they're asking questions, they're answering questions, they're describing things. You know, they say if you want your kids to learn and you, you bring in peers, you know, people their own age, they're going to learn a lot more and it shows. Being native descendant, um, my kids don't have a lot of opportunity to learn um, about the culture, so this has given them opportunity to step out and to really show the pride in their culture and want to continue on with it. I really think that culture needs to be lived, 
Um, so it is very challenging for, for us as a blended family to give the children the culture that they need. We've joined many programs and they've fizzled within two weeks. Um, so I have been, I've just been blown away with what my children have learned. It's nice to, to know somebody that's willing to teach the kids and take time out and, you know, show them. Um, I found that was the biggest challenge, even with myself growing up, not really having anybody to take time to talk to us and, you know, teach, mm -hmm. us, teach us the language. All I wanted to do was learn the language a long time ago and I didn't know how to do it. Somebody said, hey, there's classes at Heritage University. So I went and it was with Virginia Beaver. And so it was real inspiring for to be with her. And I wanted to not only learn the language, but then after that, I wanted to help her and help the efforts towards re language revitalization. That's what made me become a linguist. I know what it's like to be ridiculed lived in a time when you could go by any store or anywhere and you could see a sign that says no Indians allowed. And I remember my uncle saying, man I seem like I'm all by myself and because nobody speaks Indian no more. I tell my family that for as long as I can you can keep asking me questions about this name or that name or how to say this or that. But time kind of is, uh, like people say, it's not, a, it's not on our side. But that's why I'd like to be a part of this program. My grandson, he's learning. So I don't feel like I'm, I'm not alone or nothing. Don't ever forget who you are. Because the Creator made you who you are. Gave you your life. Tananam wataminwa. You're Indian forever. Chown a moon, I will lock the Samknat Nan. Chown a moon, Pina lock the Shinamwa. He said, Don't ever forget that language. This is God given language. We just need more material out there in the language. We have an all Ichishkin book and it's supposed to be volume one of a series of books that will start coming out to help with classes. The Yakima Reservation here, we're spread out. So distance learning material could be helpful, not to mention there are many Yakimas who live on the west coast, over the mountains, or in different states. We have a YouTube channel and people are always saying, oh, I use it in the classroom all the time. Hey, I'm learning. I'm not even from around here. You know, I live in on the other side of the mountain. Your videos are the only things I have to help me learn the language. It's a strong need to have more material and also to have it available. You have internet, you have access. Anybody can open it up and start learning some of the language. Reviving an endangered language takes a lot of work from a lot of people. With Ichishkin revitalization, the people involved now in the work being done is not enough. We need more young people, adults, teachers, supporters, entire communities to join our struggle because we're on a timeline. We need to be producing fluent speakers.